In today's how-to, I'm going to fit a 14 tooth front sprocket. Let's do it. What are you going to need? You're going to need a 5mm Allen key. I've got it on a wrench. That's not essential. You're going to need a 10mm socket. You're going to need some way of removing your master link from your chain. The chain doesn't have to come off, but it's far easier if it does. You'll also need some tools to loosen the rear, which we'll come to next. First off, let's do the sprocket. So, with your 5mm, these should not be tight. We're going to believe these are 12 newton meters. These are just hand tight. This probably doesn't have to come off, but it's just easier for access than it does. Without scratching the paint carefully, extract the cover. Okay. And we also have this in here as well. Right, first off, I'm going to remove the chain because it's going to be easier with the sprocket on. So, there are various ways to do this. My preference is such. So, you have your little thing there, and your master link should easily slip out. Lovely. Okay, now with your 10mm socket, we want to loosen off these two bolts that hold the sprocket retainer on. And again, these shouldn't be tight. Best way, because obviously this spins, um, you could have done that before taking the chain off, and to be honest, I should have. What you can do is though, just pop it in gear. Here we go. Don't forget you popped it in gear. Okay. One little bolt. Another little bolt. Now don't worry, this thing should be quite loose. Right, this twists one spline across, and out it comes. That's your retainer. Off comes your sprocket. So this is a 15 tooth factory standard. See, not very much difference, but one tooth less, therefore smaller damage. Great, so now we can just pop the um, sprocket on, followed by the retainer. It goes into a little groove in there. Line this up with the holes. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just pop a little bit of uh, thread lock on these. It's not essential, but there's no reason not to. A bit of uh, medium strength blue. There we go. Still in gear, of course. The talks for these will be published below. I'm going to do these reasonably tight. Okay. Now we need to put the chain back on. Of course, this is currently in gear. So I just need to pop it back to neutral. And there we go. Okay. Must have linked back in. Now you will notice this is now floppy as hell. So we're gonna have to tension the chain once we've put this back together.
Okay, chain tensioning. I have just changed the front sprocket, therefore this is loose as hell. However, this is also part of routine maintenance because change, stretch and wear. So, in order to tension your chain correctly, first off you need to know what the tension should be. It should be, in this case, approximately 35 millimeters here. Now, forget this. The, the center point of the chain between the sprocket, front and rear sprockets, is approximately level with the front edge of the tire. That's good enough. So this amount of slop needs to equal approximately 35 millimeters. In this case, it equals about two inches, which is far more than it needs to be. So you will need to, first off, loosen the rear axle. In this case, this is one end of a large bolt that goes all the way through to the side. On the other end, there is a 17 millimeter nut. So you'll need a 17 millimeter socket or spanner. Now bear in mind, it will be very tight. You may need an extender in order to crack it. I've already loosened it. This end is a 14 millimeter. You may need to hold this as well. You certainly will when you tighten it. Right, so in effect, to take the slack out of this, what we need to do is move the whole rear wheel backwards slightly. So I'm going to do half turns. What I need to do is incrementally turn this anti-clockwise looking from the back. So this is down. So half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn. I'm now going to do the other side in exactly the same amount. Then review. Yeah, nowhere near yet. We're going to have to carry on. One, two, probably too tight, so I'm going to back off. One, two. So we're now back to one. Right, let's measure. I've just marked off on a ruler here, 35 mil. So if I get it to the top, I'll just get that level with one of the pins, and then bring it down. Okay, we're a little bit slack. So this is a point where I need to just be very careful. So if I'm going to do, let's say, a quarter turn, bit more. Another quarter turn, so half turn. Spot on. Now should I do the other side? And note the um, little markers here are in identical alignment on both sides. It's perfect. Right, now I need to tighten my rear axle. Now, I will post the correct torque below. Bear in mind, it is FT. I will talk this up correctly. So there we have it. One really simple mod, which everyone raves about. Um, I have tried the difference already, and I will say the engine does feel like it revs a bit freer. So there we have it. Sprocket changed, chain cleaned, retensioned, everything back together. Let's ride.